guys, I'm back today to share with you another Dollar Tree haul. I haven't made one in like a week and I've been missing it, but I've been super busy with class and life. So this is kind of a collective haul. It's kind of big. I mean, it's definitely not small. So I'll go ahead and get started with the food items. The first food items I want to talk about are these chicken salad, tuna salad kits. So... My husband purchased two of these Starkist, and then he purchased this Bumblebee. This is the only one we can find, um, and he usually buys the Bumblebee, so he got these ones to try. Well, the first one he actually ate was the other one of the Starkist, and he said it smelled funny, it tasted funny, um, which we didn't think too much about because obviously it's a different brand, but it gave him really bad indigestion, made his stomach hurt, so um, this one's pretty much going in the trash. It's within the dates, so I don't really know what's wrong with it, but I don't know. Just not a good one. But he did eat this one today and said he really liked it. So, um, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe he just doesn't like the Star Kissed or, I don't know. But I wanted to throw that out there in case those are types of products that you would buy. I found these Pringles sticks today. And these, they're kind of like Pocky sticks, but these are made out of cheese. And so there's eight to-go packs and probably about 15 of the sticks in every pack. And so we munched on one of them just to see how they were, and they're pretty good. So that's, I, I'll probably pick up another box of those if I see them, just because those are great to throw in your purse or kind of take on the go. I found a new pasta side, and it says it's new. I've never seen this one before, and this is the Parmesan pesto flavor. I love penne pasta, and lately I've been really into pesto, so hopefully this one will be pretty good. I picked up a... Five pack of Top Ramen. I call these oodles of noodles in our house and my daughter loves them, so she begged me for that. Got a little box of Cheez-Its here. Um, this is probably about half the size of the regular boxes at the stores, but these ones are great to kind of throw in your car or even to toss into a larger purse. Um, I was thinking about taking this to class with me, something to munch on. My hubby grabbed a box of popcorn. So this is Pop Weaver. This is the extra butter, and there's three bags in here. He doesn't like the skinny cow, or skinny cow, the um, skinny pop, or is it skinny girl popcorn? I don't know, skinny something. I love that popcorn, and he doesn't like it, so he got that one instead. My daughter wanted some cheese balls, so these are by Brim's. Brim's cheese balls. And then I found these pretzels today. This is, says, uh, what is it? Penny Sticks brand. And I mean, these look pretty good. I like the salt chunks on them. I don't like um, pretzels with, where the salt is really sparse. I don't know. I like a lot of salt on my pretzel sticks. And the ingredients seemed pretty good. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. So, just some pretzel sticks. Those are always, always great to put into like a baggie and take for a snack. And then the last food items I got are some Edwards pies. So I picked up the apple pie, the key lime pie, and then the cookies and cream pie. And I have never seen the apple pie at my store. I, they usually do have these, but, um, you know, I like all types of these pies here. So I just grabbed them all. And those will probably be gone tonight, knowing my family. So that's all of the food items. I think that's... I mean, that's a pretty good amount of food items. For some reason, the Dollar Tree I went to today, they had a lot of food stuff today. They usually don't. So, on to the other items. Let's see. I picked up one of the new summer signs. There's one I have my eye on, but I haven't seen it yet in my area. So, the one I got today um, is this pineapple shape, and it says, Hello Summer. And it's got the pineapple drink and the beach in the background. And this is just so cute. It reminds me of home. So I'm going to put this on my back patio. I'm hoping I can find the other sign that I have my eye on soon, but that's what I grabbed for now. And kind of following that theme, I picked up one of these dish drying mats, and I got it in this um, kind of word print. It's got different, you know, summer type of words. And I think this is, this is pretty decent quality. I have a couple drying mats now that I bought from Ross. I think they were two and a, maybe six or eight dollar pack. And um, they're, they're good, but these aren't too much different. I mean, th this would definitely serve its purpose. And I feel like after a certain amount of time of having a drying mat, um, continually washing it, drying it, and things like that, it's best to just toss it and get a clean one, a brand new one. So 
Um, for a dollar, this is pretty good. I'll probably end up picking up another one or two just to have as a backup. Alrighty. I picked up... You know what? I'm going to save that one for later. I was so happy today. I found some more flowers that I have been looking for for at least a month now. Probably about two months now. And these are the purple roses. But these are like purple at the bottom and then they go to ombre into like a white or a light purple tip. I'll show you from the front so you can kind of see. And I was able to find three stems worth. So I've been working on a project for my daughter's room and... I didn't have enough flowers so for at least one to two months now I haven't been able to complete the project so I was so happy to finally come across some more of these and this should be enough to actually complete it so I'm gonna try to finish that today super stoked let's see oh I found some new stickers guys I was so excited um, so this is the first pack here and these are the pop-up stickers and there's 14 in here I love these Super summery. I don't know if I'm going to use them myself or if I'm going to let my daughter use them to make a card or just like a really cute beach scene, but I just couldn't leave them in the store. And to kind of go with that theme, these are the glitter, and there's seven stickers in here. These are a lot larger, though. So you have a travel, welcome to paradise, go to beach, adventure on the road again, one way, the suitcase, and I love glitter. I love this. And then one more to kind of, I mean, it matches this a little bit, at least the same kind of color scheme and gold glitter. Um, so there's also seven pieces in this one. I love, I think this is kind of what really drew me to it. I probably, oh, no, and these two as well. If it wasn't for those, I probably just would have left this, but I had to have those stickers. So those are really cute. I picked up some of these paper plate holders in this really pretty kind of like seafoam green color. We use paper plates a lot, especially in the summer, and so I knew that this would come in handy. Kind of go with the outdoor theme. I wanted to grab some of these ketchup and mustard bottles. So whenever we grill out hot dogs or hamburgers, we can just keep these outside on our back table. Um, and then the holes in them are pretty small, so flies can't get inside or, you know, anything like that. And I know my daughter will be able to use these herself and without worrying about putting too much. Let's see, kind of going with that theme, I picked up some of these deli baskets. We've been doing a lot of hot dogs and hamburgers, and I just thought this would be so cute, especially for hot dogs. And to go with that, I grabbed the waxed basket liners. So this, I'm just so, so excited to use these together. I think that is just so ingenious. Last year, around this time, I wasn't shopping at Dollar Tree, so I don't know if they've had them before. I'm sure they have, but I've never purchased them myself. I grabbed a foaming hand soap, and this is by Aerofoam, and this is in the scent Luscious Pear. It says dye free, and so that one kind of um, drew, um, drew me towards it. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Very strong fragrance says it's infused with botanicals. I don't really know exactly what botanicals. I see something in here about aloe leaf juice, vitamin E. So I don't know, but I'm going to put that in my bathroom and see how that does. I wanted to touch base really quick about a product that I bought that I don't recommend. So, and that is this uh, Bahama and Company. This is the scent Aruba Blue Breeze, and it was like a hanging flower. Um, it looks like this. It's like a hanging flower and it's supposed to be scented. Um, and it's supposed to help scent your car and honestly this didn't work at all. It smelled good straight from the package like if you actually put your nose up to it and smell it but it didn't make my car smell any better. So not impressed with that. And I also bought, I think I hauled it in a previous video, I bought one of those like um, little car scent things that you shove into the air vent and that didn't work either. So. I think I'm done trying uh, car freshening stuff at Dollar Tree because it just doesn't work for me in my car. I grabbed a box of the Assured brand antibacterial moist wipes and there's 20 in here. Always great to have in your car or your purse. My daughter really wanted the solar dancing flowers today so I'll probably put those on our back porch. It's really cute. I picked up a thank you card, and this is going to go to a family friend. My daughter um, needs to send her a thank you card for a letter that she mailed us. 
So it's pretty basic, but it's cute, and my daughter can write a little note in there. Oh, I think there's a fly. Those Texas flies. Uh, they're crazy this time of year, but uh, so that's for her to use. And down to the last, I got a good amount left here. Let's see, my hubby picked up this pack of pins. These are the Clip Grit, um, Clip Clicks, sorry. <laughs> Um, these are pretty decent pins. He said he was so tired of not being able to find a pin in the kitchen, so now we won't have that problem. I went ahead and picked up these. These are the Ultra Fine Point Dry Erase Markers. Um, I have some, if you remember from a previous video, I hauled those like circle magnets. One said don't forget, um, one said when I get to it, and the other one said to do. And I haven't been able to write on them because I didn't have any markers. I don't know why I didn't think to grab some, so... Got the markers now, so now I can write little notes on those. Oh, I was so happy to find this silver diamond wrap. For months, I could never find the silver color. I had found the gold once, but usually it was like the blue or like a red or nothing at all. So I definitely had to pick up one of these. And then today, I found the clear acrylic gems. Super happy about these. I have an idea of what to do with these. Um, I just never could find them. So now that I have them, I can't wait to get to it. I have some beauty products in here. Let's see. I picked up a second one. Okay. I guess I only picked up one. I grabbed another one of these LA Colors uh, Color Craze Gel Polishes. And these are pretty small, but they work really good. This is in the color Vivacious. Oh, it's not focusing for some reason today, but it's called Vivacious. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what's up, but it's a really pretty, kind of like a deep pink shade. I haven't tried that one yet. I grabbed some Bolero products. I found the Coconut Oil and Sea Salt, and this is the Face, Skin, and Hair Body Oil. So I'm probably going to use this um, either for my face or just my body itself, but definitely not my hair. I have a hair oil for that, but... Um, I wouldn't have usually picked this up, but it, because it has coconut oil in it, I decided to give it a try. And it does come with a spray top. I'm hoping that this spray is really fine and it's not too heavy. So we'll see how this one works. And then I also found the body cream in that scent as well. And I was able to smell it in the store, and I do think it smells pretty good. They were all out of the face wipes, unfortunately, and I'm still on the hunt for those. So we'll see. I picked up two of their bath fizzies to try. This is the coconut and chamomile. So kind of like an anti-stress. And then the rosemary mint. Uh, it says anti-stress or, um, yeah, pretty much. But rosemary mint, this would be great if you had a stuffy nose or a cold of any sort. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, I've heard mixed reviews, but honestly, some things you just have to try for yourself. And then the last three items I picked up, I'm going to have to move the camera, and that are these little storage containers, these little storage bins. So the idea behind these, and I'm sure you can probably guess already, is they just kind of sit on top of each other. Let me see here. Yeah. So let me see if I can assemble one for you. Okay, sorry about that. So you can kind of see here, they stack. And I grabbed these because I'm, I've am i organized underneath my bathroom cabinet before, and I do have bins, but they're just, they're like large bins, and so things kind of get crowded in there as well. So I want to see if this will fit three, um, you know, three stacked up like this, if this will fit nicely on the right side of my cabinet. And then I can use each section for either, you know, one for body care, one for feminine products, things like that. So we'll see how that goes. If it does fit nicely, I'm going to buy three more for my husband's side. And I'll probably end up filming a video on um, my under the sink storage. Me going through, uh, decluttering, just talking a little bit about the items that I have and why, if they work good. And then showing how I reorganize it with Dollar Tree storage products. So if you would be interested in a video like that, like this video, comment below, whatever, let me know somehow, because that's something I'm thinking about. So that's it, guys. That is my haul, probably for this week. I probably won't have another one until next weekend, or at least several days from today. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Talk to you, talk to you soon. Bye.